This is a terrible question. Oh, God, that's it. Never have I ever had a question like that. <laughs> I'm Titus Burgess, and I'm the star of Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. I love that noise. Not only does the show take place in New York, but I've lived in New York City for almost 17 years. Today, we're gonna play New York City, Never Have I Ever. Now, I've got a stack of uh, uh, Never Have I Ever cards pertaining to New York City, and if I've ever done them, I'll take a sip of Pinot Noir. And uh, if I have done them, I'll take a sip of Pinot Noir. Never have I ever been recognized on the street as a different celebrity. People think I'm Randy Jackson from American Idol all the time. I'm like, I do not look like that man, I'm much cuter. Never have I ever given a swipe at the turnstile for someone. Yes, I do it often when I used to ride the train. I think if you can afford to give someone a swipe, give someone a swipe. If you can't and you can't afford it, then you know, don't give them a swipe. But it's always kind to uh, act as though you have surplus because it comes back to you. And you should do it even if it doesn't come back to you. Never have I ever gotten a roommate on Craigslist. My assistant used to be my roommate and our other roommate found him on Craigslist. And he's about to get fired. He's been doing a terrible job lately. Never have I ever performed at Marie's Crisis. It used to go all the time, but that low ceiling really makes me claustrophobic and now I can't do that anymore. And the drinks are like this big. It's like taking like some cough syrup. A tablespoon is not a shot, kids. Thank you. Never have I ever gotten involved in an odd side gig. New York is full of them. That's Odd side gigs are your main gig until you get a gig. Mm. Never have I ever stayed out to 6 a.m. I still stay out to 6 a.m. Drinking Pinot Noir. Never have I ever felt like you were living in a Sex in a City episode. Um, I used to feel like it all the time, but the backdrop with which Sex in the City was measured against is no longer the backdrop that New York finds itself in now. And I miss it so. And we need a third movie, a fourth, third movie. Here's what you should do. Obviously, Samantha's not with us. And I think Jane Krakowski should come on as not the new Samantha, but the new Samantha fourth. And she should be a real estate broker. And they should be packing up Samantha's house. All the girls are there packing up all her things. And Jane is like, no, we gotta get this moving. So to help it move along, Jane decides to help them box stuff, whatever. And they all get to know each other and voila, they're all friends. And they walk down the street and Jane's looking beautiful along with the other three girls. And we have our third movie. So let's do it. Come on, Sarah Jessica. Never have I ever second acted. That's what you do when you first moved to New York City, you got no money. You see all the shows, second acts. Never have I ever been at a party with any of the Real Housewives. Now Andy duped me into going to that party. He knew I would have a terrible time. And all she did all night was talk on and on about the blogs and the blogs and the blogs. Thanks for the reminder, timeout. Never ever uh, eaten a dollar slice. Dollar slice is everything. Um, but those are never on avenues. There's, all, there's always on the streets. Yeah, just if you first move to New York. Never have I ever performed on the subway. What kind of performance are you talking about? Never have I ever had an encounter with a roach rat or, girl, this is New York. Everyone has encounters. It comes with a lease. This has been Never Have I Ever for Time Out Magazine. Now it's time to take some time out for, okay.